<laughs> Gary, your, your thoughts on, on, on Fred and how he hit the floor in the first quarter, especially just really seemed to, to spark you guys. What does it mean when, when uh, your point guard kind of gets you rolling like that? Your point guard and your veteran leader gets it going for you. You know, it's a great thing. It's a great night. You know, he set the tone for us tonight. You know, he blowed us and, you know, he helped us get a big victory, much needed victory. And, and maybe just take us through that shot that you hit uh, off OJ's pass in the corner. Uh, how much room did you have? It didn't look like there was a lot there. I need just a little bit, you know, uh, coaching staff, you know what I mean? I'm staying in the corner, uh, watch film where I had multiple times where I could have got a flare screen, went to the corner, get shots in the last previous games. And, you know, just from coaches showing me, and Freddie setting a good back screen, you know, play just happened. Thanks very much, Gary. Thanks. Go ahead, Eric. Hey, Gary, congrats on the win. Uh, I'm just wondering in your time with the Raptors, how far have you seen OG come as a, as a playmaker? I would say I would see his all around his all around game. You know, he's always been a great, phenomenal talent. But you know, but this year I've seen him, you know, lead in certain situations, find certain guys, give certain plays up that he can shoot. You know, so just being an ultimate team player and ultimate winner. When you're moving off the ball, there, do you see Fred sort of setting up to give you the screen, or does the screen only happen after you're moving? If you can get what I'm saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. It really just depends on the flow of the game. You know, we actually have some set plays where a screen is set back door like that. <laughs> and sometimes naturally it just happens through the flow of the game. So really just a scenario, really timing. Thanks, Gary. Safe trip home. Thank you.